Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Tom Rouse and today we're going to be doing a football manager investigation. Now there's been a lot of talk over the last couple of months about Wenger in or Wenger out. Now I'm completely non-committal on either way because I'm not an Arsenal fan, I've got no soft spot for Arsenal at all, um, so I want to pick a side. Now the way that I'm going to pick a side is by using football manager to sim forward one season from the start of this season. The first set, the first sim is going to be with Wenger in charge and we're going to see how they get on with him. Then I'm going to go on the editor and remove Wenger from Arsenal, sim forward and see which is better. The next thing you'll see is the first sim, the end of the first season, ready? So here we are at the end of the season with Arsenal Wenger in charge. As you can see, Arsenal have done very, very well. They have won the Premier League by 10 points ahead of Tottenham. Um, winning 29 of their 38 games and with a goal difference of plus 60 that's unbelievable we'll have a quick we'll have a deeper look in the premier league in just a second but for the rest of it knocked out by real madrid in the first knockout round no danger in that we'll have a deeper look at the group stage to see how well they did there uh knocked out in the fifth round by newcastle they'll be a little bit disappointed with that and then in the efl cup knocked out by leicester so not great in the cup competitions but you can clearly see that the focus was on the Premier League this season. And you can see as well that they led the league for some time, looking at this league sections bit here. Right, so having a little deeper look at the Premier League here. So Arsenal, you can see, scored 90 goals. They scored seven against Liverpool, Hull and Sunderland. Six against Bournemouth, Middlesbrough, Burnley and Swansea. Five against Southampton and Leicester and four against Man United. Third, only 30 goals conceded, which, if you have a look, is the best defence in the league. By far, Tottenham conceding 36 of the next best. But the end of the season form as well, winning the last five games to really pull away from Tottenham, who faltered a little bit, drawing one, losing two. Arsenal very, very good here. Uh, so look, the first half of the season, outstanding. Second half of the season, lost a few more games, but still brilliant. 46 points from the second half of the season. Very good. So Alexis Sanchez finished joint top goal scorer alongside Sergio Aguero with 23 goals. He played every game. Meza Ozil, top rated player in the league with 7.99. Alexis Sanchez not too far behind there either. No other Arsenal players though standing out there. Let's have a look here. Koscielny with the most tackles in a game. Petr Cech with the most clean sheets and the least conceded. So that's very very good. Wenger wins the manager of the year award. So at the moment I'm looking I'm, it looks as if Wenger in is the way forward. It appears to me that Arsene Wenger on the football manager is the right person for Arsenal. Now what we're going to do is going to go back in time to August or July 2016. We're going to terminate Arsene Wenger's contract. I'm not going to put anybody in place for them. I'm going to leave it up to the Arsenal board to replace him. Maybe in a future I'll do uh, an experiment to see all the different candidates for uh, the Arsenal job. To see how each one gets on and compare them against each other. But for now, I'm just going to go and remove Arsene Wenger. Okay, so here we are at the start of the season again, 1st of July 2016, and here we go. I'm going to remove Arsene Wenger. Arsene, go and have a nice holiday now. You've had a long time at the club. Cheerio. Ah, oh, but look what's happened. Look what has happened. Straight away, he's been terminated his contract, and now he's the director of football. So this changed the experiment. I didn't know that that was going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim one season with him as the director of football and then I'll go back again and remove him from this job as well so he's got nothing to do with the club. So this time he's the director of football so he will have a say at who he's going to appoint to replace him. So interesting developments there. Okay so here we are now at the end of the season with Arsene Wenger as the director of football in, at Arsenal. But the first thing that I've spotted is that Wolves have been promoted to the Premier League. Let's have a look how they did it quickly. They didn't win the league. Must have been through the playoffs. Never mind. Anyway, back to what we have come here to do. So let's have a look at Arsenal with Arsene Wenger as the director of football. So they've got Marcello Bielsa, who I believe has been linked with 
the club. He's 61, Argentinian. So up until a couple of years ago, he was at Olympic Marseille, Bilbao, Chile. He's managed Argentina. He's managed uh, Espanol. So never really, in, well, up until recently, not in Europe. If we remember, Arsenal won the Premier League under Wenger on this with 92 points. Now they've they finished second some way behind Liverpool who actually got more points than Arsenal did. So 79 points Arsenal ended on. They also did better in the Champions League under Bielsa. They reached the semi-final, knocked out by Real Madrid again who they actually lost to in the under Wenger. The sixth round of the FA Cup again they'll be disappointed with that because losing to Burnley is not really what they should be doing but they got a round further in that. They also got a round further in the League Cup but being knocked out by West Ham. Um, Alexis Sanchez scoring two goals less than before. Let's have a deeper look at the Premier League stats. If you remember as well, Arsenal won the, the last five games of the season to really cement their title win. However, they were quite disappointing at the end of this season, only winning their last game of the season, picking up four points out of a possible 15 at the end of the season is what's lost them the league. They were Arsenal top at any point. No, no, they are pretty poor season. But that's what they'll get when if they change their manager. They will have a bit of a slump. But still, finishing top two there is better than real life. Look at Sunderland there, seventh. That's a bit skewed, isn't it? Never mind. Uh, let's have a look at some of the stats, the player overview. So Mesut Ozil again, most key passes. Not the highest ranked player on the game though, but of course... Finishing second in the league, he's not going to be. But there's no Liverpool players in that section, which is strange to see. Alexis Sanchez there with the most joint most player of the matches alongside Luke Shaw. Jose, are you watching? There, Granite Xhaka with two red cards. Alexis Sanchez again up there for top goal scorer of the season, but slightly less than last time. But again, he played every single game. Uh, 21 goals in 38 appearances. One less than Roberto Firmino for Liverpool. Uh, of course, Czech had the most clean sheets and the least conceded. He's lost those this time to De Gea and Simon Mignolet. Lauren Koscielny, though, is there again with the most tackles made. Now, what I'm going to quickly do is we're going to go back to Arsenal and we're going to find out if anybody interesting was signed in the summer. Uh, two signings there for Bielsa. Nobody of any real note has left. Look, uh, Gabriel Paulista, Carl Jenkins are moving on. Paulista, though, for a fairly substantial fee, two, only three and a half million. Coming in, though, Ang Angel Correa and Eduardo Salvio for 34.5 million between the two of them. So, Correa came from Madrid, playing 26 times last season, and he made somewhat of an impact. Well, not really. Four starts, four goals for him. Uh, Eduardo Salvio, 27-year-old from Benfica, 20.5 million, only playing seven games again, only starting four. Didn't say whether the... Oh, I did say... So one was at the, on the trans... So it's, maybe that's Wenger's impact here uh, as a director of football, stopping them from going on a major spending spree. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back in time again, we're going to remove Arsene Wenger as the manager and as the director of football. We're going to give Arsenal a completely Wenger-free season and see what that does to their season. So here we go, back on the 1st of July 2016 and we're going to get rid of Arsene Wenger as the manager. Thank you for coming Wenger, cheerio, director of football now. Staff, all Director of Football, Arsene Wenger. Terminate contract. Now he's out of the game. Let's just skip forward a day. Has he gone? Right, there we go. He's gone. Let's just check that he's not the um, Director of Football anymore. They haven't even got one. So I think the coast is clear. We're going to skip forward now to the end of this season and see how Arsenal do without any Arsene Wenger input into their club. They've still got Stan Kroenke and all the board that I know that the Arsenal fans are not happy about as well. So we'll see what happens now in a moment. Ready? Get Wenger out! Here is the final 
bit of my video, you can clearly see that Arsene Wenger is holding Arsenal back. They've won the league, they've won the FA Cup, and they've won the League Cup. They, they didn't win the league as emphatically as they did with Wenger on this experiment or this investigation, but they didn't, they didn't perform as well as this in the cup competitions in the previous saves. So let's have a look at who's in charge. In the staff, we've got Mark, Marcello Bielsa again. They haven't got a director of football that I can see. So it's Bielsa, let's see who he brought in. Different players this time, which shows maybe that Wenger was still controlling that aspect of the club. They brought in Kenny Tete from Ajax, Rodrigo Cayo and Lucas Vasquez for 50 million pounds. They did sell uh, Gabriel Paulista to the same club I think that he got sold to before. We have three different players. So Lucas Vasquez from uh, Real Madrid. He made 10 appearances. Bear in mind he signed, did he sign in? They all signed in January. They won the league com comfortably in the end. They won the FA Cup. Who did they beat? Oh, let's have a look at the League Cup first. They played Tottenham. Oh, imagine that. They beat Tottenham on penalties. Who did they play in the FA Cup? So they had a replay against Liverpool after drawing at Anfield. They beat them at home 3 1. I thought I said Ali Adier then. Uh, then in the Champions League, oh sorry, then they beat Leicester 3 0 in the fourth round. Crystal Palace 1 0 in the fifth round. Champions League knockout rounds, they played uh, Sevilla and then lost, lost to Juventus in the quarterfinals there of the Champions League. They beat West Brom in the FA Cup semi final and then beat Middlesbrough 1 0 in the FA Cup final. So, great season for Arsenal there. So there we go, my mind is made up, I am firmly Wenger out, get him out of Arsenal altogether, don't need a director of football, just go and have a holiday Arsen, you've had 20 years hard work, go and put your feet up in the dudoing. Let me know what you think as well in the comments, I might also run a poll, so click on that, are you Wenger in or Wenger out? Or don't you care like me, really? I don't really care. Thank you very much for watching. If this is the first video that you've watched of mine, then why don't you have a look at some of my other ones and maybe subscribe. And don't forget to press like if you liked it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.